While no decision has been made tonight by the Berkeley City Council to declare Bradley Manning a hero, questions are still raised whether he actually released classified documents. New homes such as these will soon be occupied by the mentally ill and are already in high demand. Today, a horrible act of animal cruelty was exposed as 33 large dogs were rescued by Oakland Animal Services and taken here to the shelter. Investigators say this is the fifth accident in less than one month, making it the most dangerous roadway in Chico. Paul came in at 9.40 this evening. When officers arrived, they found the victim shot to death next to the SUV. However, if you have to work on the Labor Day holiday, some say it is not a bad day to be on the job. So when it comes to smoking crack on Muni, the question is whether to tell or not say anything at all. Muni wants to know. In spite of threats of protests, TSA officials say they will not back down on new security procedures. Rose Cote has more on this unusual love story. When Ethan and Briar first met, they never dreamed of a wedding like this in the parking lot of Dutch Brothers Coffee. It was the biggest shock I ever got in my life. I actually had to pull in Ethan to get him to reread the email to make sure that I hadn't read it wrong. Dutch Brothers had offered to pay for a majority of the wedding if they had it on site, as their long love affair with coffee and each other came to fruition. Uh, my employees started telling me about this, this story about this cute couple that uh, met at Dutch Bros and got engaged at Dutch Bros. And so we just thought we really needed to do something special for them. Without a doubt in their minds, they said yes, immediately. It's right here in the Dutch Brothers parking lot where Ethan and Briar first decided to tie the knot, just steps away from where Ethan proposed. I fight fires for a living. Proposing is more nerve-wracking. Dutch Brothers seem to be the ideal spot for these coffee connoisseurs. Dutch Brothers is everything that him and I are. Everything. I mean, we've had all of our special moments here, bad days, good days, everything has revolved around Dutch Brothers. And for this young couple, it was just perfect. Well, I am the happiest girl in the world right now. <laughs> for Action News, this is Rose Cote. I'm, I'm always happy when I get the, the community to volunteer to help uh, clean up the, it, situations like this. So. The second annual Labor Day cleanup took place today from Irvine Finch River Access to Beer Can Beach. Over 55 volunteers from Chico State's Government Affairs, Cave, Adventure Outings, and AS Recycling came out to clean up trash from last weekend's Labor Day float. The day was not only a time to collect trash, but a learning experience, as the director of CAVE explains. Well, I think it's really important um, to bring students out here so they understand um, what occurs with the environment out here. Um, you know, they come on the, the beach during Labor Day, and then they essentially walk off and nobody really looks behind them. And then these students come up after them, and they get to clean up and understand. Last year, over 600 pounds of recyclables were collected in a full 40-yard dumpster of trash. With over 15,000 tubers down the river this weekend, huge amounts of waste were expected. This year, student volunteers are working hard to clean up the debris, and help is greatly appreciated by the ones who usually take it all on. And realistically, the answer is, you know, these students are doing their best. They're out here, they're on their time, they're volunteering their time to come out here and help pick up, and, and that's huge for us. I mean, it really helps, you know, it helps give us a little bit of a, you know, boost after, after such a busy week. While there were efforts to ban alcohol in the river this year, the law did not pass in Glen County, consequently allowing more potential litter on the river. Police investigators spent seven hours Wednesday searching the intersection of Highway 32 and Bruce Road for evidence after David Yang was found dead inside his Toyota Camry in the middle of the intersection. When the motorist uh, who passed by discovered him, he was stopped right there where, where we had found him. Um, and the motorist initially just reported that he was slumped over the wheel, wasn't sure if it was a medical problem or what. And when our officers arrived, they found that he had, in fact, uh, it did appear that he had been shot. Yang's body was found just before 3.30 in the morning. So far, police have not found any witnesses to the shooting. Just like this, we don't have, uh, we don't have a witness that uh, is coming forward and telling us what, what happened. So we really can't make any assumptions. Because of the lack of witnesses, Chico police say evidence at the scene may be their only chance to find Yang's killer. That's why they brought in a ladder truck to get aerial photos of the crime scene and kept roads in the area closed during the entire investigation. It's really a matter of just making sure that we don't miss anything during that initial part of the investigation. Investigators are still looking into possible motives for the shooting, but say right now there are very few details about his killer. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a, a whodunit at this point. 
A construction worker remains hospitalized in critical condition after a forklift came in contact with the high voltage power lines in Orland. It happened at C.K. Price Elementary School yesterday afternoon. The Christian ministry that predicted the rapture would take 200 million Christians up to heaven on May 21st now says a cataclysmic event will destroy the globe tomorrow. Two state lawmakers want to know why Obama administration is cracking down on California's medical marijuana dispensaries. For more news, go to our website, khsltv.com.